This guy has a lot of hours with Blitz, and I mean a lot. He is one of the best Blitz players in the entire world, but how did he get here? Well, the first thing you need to understand about Blitz as an operator is that Blitz is terrible, like, like a really, really bad operator, but he's also pretty damn fun to use when you know how to use him correctly, and he can even be good in those situations as well because you can play him every single round viably as long as you know what you're doing. But that's just the thing, you have to know what you're doing, most people don't. But Blitz isn't actually as bad as people think he is. Back in 2015 on Sage's release, Blitz used to actually be a 3 armor 1 speed and have 5 flashes, which made Blitz very hard to play, especially in today's standard because of how fast paced the game is. When Blitz's flash only works reliably up to 8 meters, it also means he's not very good especially at that speed, so Blitz was very very bad and that also adds to the stigma of him not being good today. But after Blitz got buffed, he saw a lot more play. Not only was he faster, but the ADS on shields was faster back then too, so you could reliably ADS people in front of their face as Blitz and win most gunfights. To zero surprise, around this time, or more accurately a little bit later, this is when our Blitz player of the video started playing Blitz. The biggest thing I learned from him is that Blitz plays a lot more like a space-taking operator like Lion or Ying than a fragging operator, which is what most people perceive him and other shield operators to be. While a Blitz can flash people and easily kill them, a major part of playing Blitz is to not flash and kill them, actually. It's a lot more reliable to use Blitz to take space because most defenders will run from you than to use the inconsistent flash on his shield. And taking space is a huge part of his playstyle. When you see most people pick Blitz as a defender, you'd expect him to run at you, try to flash you, and kill you, and rush you. Now, there's no problem with that, but it's a huge issue when they know it's coming and if they know how to counter it, especially with defenders like Legion being played a lot right now in this meta. Using Blitz to take and hold space looks a lot more like this. He's taking space onto the bomb site and holding a passive angle onto the site rotate into church to give his team the space and time needed to plant the bomb. Now, when Legion opens up a rotate next to him on the right, he pulls out his shield, stops ADSing to not let him have the space whenever they're trying to get the space that they're trying to control to get the plant down. This, in other words, is called zoning, which I've made countless videos on. Something else players never expect is for you to pull your pistol out, ADS, and shoot them, which is exactly what he does immediately after to that poor Legion that made the rotate on the right. When people hear a shield, especially a Blitz player, coming at them, the last thing they think you're going to do as a shield player is maintain your current space, not run at them, and shoot them from a distance instead, while you're freaking around and you have your back turned to them, running around like a chicken with his head cut off. Now what separates Glenny, our Blitz player in this video, from other Blitz players in the community and across the world? Not only is it his more tactical than average playstyle, but he also knows what counters Blitz as well, which is something that he's actually going to talk about in the interview I have set up with him at the end of the video, so stick around for that. If you know how to counter Blitz, you know how to get around those counters as a Blitz player, which can make you in turn a better Blitz player. Glenny, our shield player, also typically sets up cameras before he goes in anywhere to find an open space he can take control of, like in this clip here. Turn stairs real quick. Yeah. He must have. Going in, going in boxes. Nice, dead. It's not muted or anything. Top yellow, top yellow, top yellow. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Find the pillar, find the pillar. Dead yellow. One, we're coming to your waiting. Two waiting, two. Uh, one waiting, one waiting. Waiting door, waiting door. Waiting default, waiting default. Waiting default, 25. Waiting, going towards dragon. 50. 75. Down. And also in this clip here. Shot, dude. First shot. Please piano. Yeah, yeah piano, piano in the corner. But that's enough about me talking about him. It's time to actually interview him and talk to him. Cool. All right. So I got an interview with the Blitz main himself, Glenny. How are you doing? Uh, doing well. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. So I have a few questions here for you. Now, as as we've talked about, you are definitely abnormal when it comes to how good you are with Blitz. What is one tip that you could give to aspiring Blitz players, or just most Blitz players in general, that most people don't know? I wouldn't say that I'm abnormal on it. I'd just say that I have 
I put in the time on it. And that's like the thing is you just have to put the time in and learn from like because he just like playing chess really. You just have to figure out what I agree, works, yeah. what doesn't work and what gives you the best odds of winning. And I think, you know, just one one easy tip would be to never like overestimate the distance of the flash on your shield. Yeah. Uh, because it's, it's really not that far away. And you don't have to like when, when, when you flash somebody on blitz, people like go spasmo and they like run after people and do stupid stuff that ends up getting them killed. If you flash somebody and they run away, you just make space and that's that's your job. It's, blitz really isn't that all or nothing. It, you can really play blitz and have not as aggressive uh, play style. And I think that's one of the things that, uh, the misconception. Yeah, I, I would say the same the same the same thing for like operators like Ying too. Like you don't really need to use Ying to like get kills all the time. You could use the flashes to take space once they run away. So are you saying that that's like a good thing to do with Blitz too? Yeah, I mean if there's times where like somebody's sitting just around the corner and you're like uh, quick peeking you and you're quick peeking them back, and they come around the corner just enough where you can you can hit your operator or your gadget button and you flash them. You know that they're flashed, but they back up around the corner you don't have to go around the corner to, uh, to secure the kill or finish the kill or whatever all you need to do is sit there and wait and make that person make the mistake you don't want to be the person right. who's making the mistake blitz is there to make the enemy or the defenders make the mistake and whenever people see a blitz i mean what what are your first thoughts when you see a blitz yeah i mean i freak out <laughs> like i get scared right <laughs> exactly it's, there's a blitz on me and like you, you spaz out and, and people just like start sprinting around and it, all you have to do is sit in a corner or sit around a corner and they're gonna make the mistake they're, they're gonna be the ones that swing into you they're gonna be the ones that swing in and fire you so that would be that's something i would keep in my head to give you a tip as to what um, you know what what things people don't know about blitz and play yeah that makes a lot of sense it makes a lot of sense do you think that being uh good at blitz carries over to being good at other shield operators like monty or maybe even fuse shield or maybe clash i mean the clash not so much yeah. other than the aspect of like making space with clash really but as for using blitz now or fusing uh monty absolutely i now they both play like blitz because you couldn't sprint before and uh, your melees on monty and fuse whenever you're going to melee uh, defender typically whenever you're meleeing on blitz prior to the, the rework um, you would flash them they can't see and then you're swinging your shield but when you're, right. you're swinging your shield before you were opening yourself up to being shot or because like your shield would go away from you and that was all all the different um, shields but on for blitz he was flashing somebody so they couldn't see that animation happen. right uh, yeah, yeah and other times before the rework the other shields they uh they didn't have that advantage of the defender not knowing when they're uh, that animation but now <laughs> there's no opening for the defender <laughs> to take advantage of a melee like at all I, 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 I even tried it. I, I literally had, I went to my Discord and I told three people to go on a shield in a custom match and just try to kill shields. <laughs> it's hard. Yeah, it you can't difficult. melee them anymore. It it's very, very hard. I agree. And it's like, I, there, there are times where the priority, there, there's just, the shield will always have priority on melee. Unless it, unless it bugs out. I mean, that does happen. But for the most part, you can melee a shield and then a, a half second later, then the shield melees you and it, it's like you're melee nothing. So uh, yeah, I mean, that blitz, carrying blitz in the other two operators now and being able to sprint with your shield up, it's absolutely, um, it almost takes a little bit of the identity away from blitz, being able to sprint with your shield up, but quality of life wise, it's it's so much better. Yeah, I, I agree too. I had a lot of trouble because I, I used to play Monty religiously and then I was never really a good blitz player. So I had a lot of trouble learning this new Monty playstyle and being overly aggressive because now you're able to as Monty, right? So like, why not do it? I had a lot of trouble getting over that learning curve at first, but like now that I'm able to do it with Monty, who knows, I might be able to be good at Blitz because of the shield rework. Which, which brings me into my, my next point. What are your actual thoughts on the shield rework? Like, do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? How do you think it actually affects shields as a whole? Um, overall, how I, what I think about it, I think it's a net positive for... Uh... But uh, defense-wise, I mean, there are a few things like uh, using Goyo Fire and Pachanka. Uh, there's some other stuff like uh, Ella now 
has a, a higher uh, effect on like the shield guard whenever uh, a shield will hit the inner trap like it'll, it'll go away a lot quicker um but overall it's as a defender it's hard it's hard to, to kill a shield and all, all the years that i've been playing shields it's funny to see whenever i play blitz and then i, I take a dump on somebody and <laughs> they get all mad and then we swap sides and then they run a shield at me it's like <laughs> easy because it's 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 a free kill for me every, for three rounds because i know what kills a shield and they don't they don't have that experience so like they're they're throwing whenever they pick a shield against me yeah something now, else that um, i like learning shields as well is like if you learn how to counter shields you will be so much better at playing a shield as well because you know exactly what counters you yeah it's it's counterintuitive because you, you want to know what <laughs> what beats me you just carry that to the other side because eventually you're going to play against it, right? Right. Um, <laughs> but now, I, whenever I see somebody bring a shield against me, like I have to pull out all the stops, and there's not many anymore. Um, I mean, there's you get tricky with Echo, you can bring Lesion, but I mean, there, there are a few things, and ultimately it comes down to just someone pick Clash. If you don't know any better, just pick Clash, and if you know that <laughs> if somebody's going to bring a shield, that's that's <laughs> like the best counter, and everybody hates picking Clash because it's Clash. But I guess another another thing on counters to shields, <laughs> Oryx actually scares the piss out of me. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll like, see a lot of pro I league see, teams using Oryx too. It's like you, you see an Oryx and it's okay. So imagine this: you're on Clubhouse uh, CCTV defending. There are one of two operators that you need absolutely need to bring to counter a Monty in Rafter. One, you can bring a Legion, and just like hide goo mines everywhere. Uh, right. every, every single spot you can put them on uh, on the stairs and everywhere up the, uh, the top of rack. You can play frost, but that's one nade away from not being an account. Uh, two, to bring a, bring the Azami and then put an Oryx behind the Azami barricades. I, I know everybody plays Azami and Rafters. Get it? It's a really strong thing. But if the attackers are bringing uh, Monty, absolutely, you need to have an Oryx up there because that Monty will That's not That's really it. smart. And because Rafters is such a <laughs> small area, like there's a very low chance that the Oryx is gonna miss his dash on you too. Yeah, and it's just, it's it's another zoning thing that uh, the Monty won't even have the nuts to push the Oryx. And that's just the way it is. And it's it's one of those two operators. And there's no real other way to counter um, just a Monty just shoving his face in whoever's around. I mean, it's, it's, it's to the point where even if they put two or three people in rafters, I'm still taking them. Yeah, I, I play Monty all the time. Like, I, I personally love Monty. Me and Kudos are like the Monty duo right now. Dude, I just push rafters every time they go CC, and there's not a round that I lose when I do that because people don't know how to counter yet. Even with Legion, like, if I have the wall open to my right and they can shoot the Izami while I'm pushing her, it's so free. And like you said, there's only really two counters to Monty right now, so, like, it's just so broken. Yeah, and even if... If you're sitting there as the shield and you're just sitting on the top of rafters, again, you, you're just sitting there. They're going nuts. They're sprinting around trying to figure out a way to kill you. That's when they make the mistake. That's whenever they like run in the line of sight of the breach or like vault down over the rafters or or something. So uh, yeah, that's a <laughs> yeah. I, I do think that the the shield rework is uh, it, it's it's pretty good. It's very. Good. Okay, well, I guess for the, the final question, something that I'm really, really curious about is what made you actually start playing Blitz? Like, what was the reason that you were like, of all the operators, you just full sent Blitz? Well, I, I think originally I didn't really full send Blitz. Um, I mean, I, I picked them every once in a while, and whenever I was starting, I, I start, started in, like, Operation Chimera, I believe. Um, and I rotated through different ops that I like to play. But I kind of settled in on Blitz because I never saw him being run. <laughs> and yeah, it yeah, was sure. it was kind of, you know, it was one of those things on the salt meter where it made people upset whenever I did it. <laughs> uh, it and it was fun, but I wanted to be different. And that's, for whatever reason, I just, <laughs> it's just a, a funny thing to do. And I'd also played a lot of Overwatch, as horrible as that sounds to me. I did too. Uh, You're good. You're good. <laughs> I'm going down with you. Um, yeah. So uh, I played a lot of Overwatch, and as you know, space is a massive thing. It's it's yeah. A if you're playing tank as well, yeah, I get it. And it's not even that I played tank. It's just adjusting and utilizing that space to your advantage, and it's it's just a completely different way of winning. And again, it's playing chess. 
and playing right. chess is so much more fun and it, it, that's kind of like the macy j attitude um of things is like playing chess and beating somebody just outright big braining people is way more in my opinion way more satisfying yeah so whenever you just like straight up big brain somebody it's so much more satisfying than just running around clicking heads like yeah clicking heads is pretty cool but whenever you just take away every every single option of, of the other team of getting a win it's just it's so satisfying i agree that's so, the whole reason i play this game too is like cod is fun modern warfare is fun like fortnite's fun sure but with siege it's like i feel like it's like 80 percent strategy and if you have the worst aim in the world as long as you have like a big brain and you've played the game long enough you will outsmart every single opponent you go against i completely agree and that's the thing is like once you get so many hours in the game like you you it begins to become like chess and, and you know the opponent's moves before they make them and um you know i guess as for why i've just stuck with blitz it's you know, I, I just wanted to be different, and uh, ultimately, I just kind of want to be like, uh, you know, like the godly noob of Cav. But I just want to want to be the godly noob of Blitz. So that's that's kind of been my been my thing is to get to that point. So. I mean, dude, I mean, like, from my opinion, you kind of already are. I've talked to, to bigger content creators as well, and they they all have at least gone against you and know who you are. But for those of you that are watching this that don't know who he is, his name is Glenny on YouTube. You can find him. I'll put his links in the description right now. He has his own YouTube channel where he posts, what, like, monthly, you'd say? <laughs> I don't want to go that far. I, just, I, I don't know. Weekly. Okay, weekly. Okay, I, okay, I, okay. I, I, I try to post weekly. I've had some uh, some real life stuff going on. Uh, not anything crazy. I just, but yeah, I, I do I do try to post weekly, and I'm gonna be doing a guide on uh, the update and everything, and how to play shields uh, going forward. Let's see. So uh, yeah, I appreciate you having me on, and uh, thank you. I hope you guys enjoy. It. All right. See you later. Now, as y'all got to see, Glenny is actually not only a good Blitz player, but he's a very good person as well. Very down-to-earth guy, and I've actually known him for quite some time now. So if you want to check out more of him, he does post on YouTube, like I said earlier. I have all of his socials down in the description. You can literally just look up Glenny on YouTube. You will find his channel if you want to learn how to be better at Blitz. Don't watch my videos. Go and check his videos out. But with that out of the way, my name's Alka. If you want to check out more of my stuff, check out this next video, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.